Hello, I'm Martin Lucker from Silicon Labs. In this quick start video, I'll show you how to get up and running with the Simplicity Studio extension for Microsoft's Visual Studio Code IDE. From the IDE, you'll be able to build, flash and debug firmware for Silicon Labs' wide range of secure, connected, intelligent devices. To add this extension into VS Code, you'll first need to visit the marketplace here and search for Simplicity Studio in the search box. And then you can click on the extension over in the left-hand side. Currently, the extension is in beta, as indicated by this pre-release label up here. So to install it, you'll need to select the install pre-release version from the drop-down here. Once we come out of beta and this is generally available, you'll just be able to use the install button. You can use Simplicity Studio for initial project creation by using one of the starter examples or a more fully featured example. I'll create an MG24 dev kit project that will allow me to use the many peripherals on the board. After creating the project, we need to go into the project file overview and change the project generator to Visual Studio Code. Depending on the type of project you're working with, you may see an upgrade actions prompt. Just click OK to accept the default Keep My Files option. And this will add in the required files needed to work with the project in VS Code. Then we're all set up to work on the project by opening the project folder directly. You can edit as expected. And to access the tools, you can expand the Silicon Labs support option. And from the All Build option, you can use the Build button to build the project. You can flash the binary file into a connected device. And you can also use the debug options if you need to step through and debug your code. So let's connect to our running software using the EFR Connect mobile application. And we'll take a look at the mobile demo. So here's my board. And if we pick it up, we can rotate it and see the uh, orientation of the board in real time uh, in EFR Connect. So hopefully you've seen how easy it is to get started using Visual Studio Code with Silicon Labs devices. If you want step-by-step -step instructions, visit the URL shown below. Thanks for watching.